Hello, good evening, happy Wednesday. And tonight I have a surprise in store. Excuse me. <coughs> Um, my um, new box of, of tricks arrived um, and I have got my Painted Wishes kit. Now, this is a fabulous kit and it's going to be one that I think is going to be quite popular. Um, so I'm going to get down onto the table and I'm going to introduce you to the kit and see what you think of it. So let me just get that one, that one, that one and I'm across. Hi Shaz, nice to see you. So I've got the shadow down here, which is from my phone. I can't do anything about the lights above me right up in the rafters. So Painted Wishes Kit. Okay, that's what I'm gonna be playing with today. I've got some ideas in my head for some alternatives, but I wanna just introduce you to um, what the kit is all about. Um, I have taken one of everything out because I'm gonna be playing with those with alternatives. So I'm just setting those aside for now and we'll just walk through this kit. So take it, I've just split the plastic open ready. Um, and I'd be interested in your feedback. Hi again, Zina, lovely to see you today. Lovely, lovely day. It's just lovely to switch off and um, catch up, put the world to rights and have a lovely lunch. So these are all the pieces I'm just gonna split out for you. These are the instructions which we're gonna use here. I'm using my nice glass mat if you missed me the other day. Um, these are layers, so we've got some of those layers, we've got, some, got those layers, those layers, and those layers, so I'll pop those just off the side of the screen there. These are the base cards, these are our sentiments, so let's pop these aside. So you've got the sentiments here, these are the round ones that go with that card, oh, just above my face, underneath my face there. So these ones go with that one, these long ones go with the middle one, and then there'll be some more in here somewhere. Uh, underneath so these ones will go with this card here okay so these are the card bases so we have the first ones here are the petal pink so if I put one of these aside I'm gonna line them up like the pictures are so we're gonna have an envelope I've run through one of each and then I've got some alternatives to play with so I'm gonna line this one up here and we're gonna snap this green out, greeting out, sorry. These have got in different languages, so you've got several sheets of these. I just need one of these out for now. Um, I'm, I feel so blessed to have a wonderful, kind, and amazing friend like you. Now, if I bring this up to the camera, you're gonna see that that is beautifully foiled. Hi, Lynn, nice to see you on here. So they are all greetings on that nice blue, lovely, um, foiled look to them so I'm going to pop that up there these other ones if you do have any kits where you have them in the other languages so German French and Dutch um, then please save them and when you see me please give them to me because what I do is when I next go to an event I make sure that the next German the next French the next Dutch demo I see will get given um, my all the sentiments that I have so they can use them in their market okay so if I've got one card there, this is for the right hand card. The peacock one is for the middle card. Let me bring them down now. So it's gonna go there, there, and there with that one. And then we're gonna take the sentiments. Again, I just need one of this one. It's wishing the happiest of birthdays to you. That's that one. This one, thank you for your kindness. So just pop these out on here and that's going to go with that card don't need the rest of those uh, but you do get several of each each um, sentiment on there so that's that set that's that set and this is this set I just need the layer that goes with that one so these I'll just take one of each again this one comes on the center card there and this one goes with this card and then this one comes underneath here, believe it or not. I'll come back to that in a sec. Um, so there's the instructions. There are pictures we have to go by. Which kit is it? It's the Painted Wishes kit, Shaz. Um, Painted Wishes, it's the new one out. Okay, it's really nice. It hasn't got any a ink spot, a block, um, or a mini, um, yeah, an ink spot, a block, or any stamps in there. So there's three things that aren't in this one. This keeps the price band down on this one but there's nine cards in the kit so you actually get to make three of each kit three of each card 
okay i am i am going to cut one apart and i'm going to make some alternatives with you which i hope you'll like so do stay to the end um, and you'll see those through so the extras we get in here are some dimensionals you get a strip of dimensionals the stamp and dimensionals and then you get these sequins we will need the sequins out but the dimensionals i already have mine open on the table so i'm going to keep these i'm going to keep them in there because they're handy for me to then give away in little packages um, or take away when i'm on the crafting on the go and the same with this one i have gold thread i've already got that out in front of me and i have um, my existing reel of tape this is just a very small one and again they're quite handy for taking away when you're on the road so i'll put those to one side as well and keep these lovely um, sequins out they're the peacock pretty peacock so we'll come on to those in a sec so i'm going to do one of each card at a time um, and we'll whisk through how these actually work um, to start with. So this one here, I have my envelope here. They are beautiful. Hi, Jeanette. Um, so this one is um, the colours in this in this bundle with all of these cards here. You can just about see all of those. Um, we've got we've got garden green. We've got lemon and lime twist, which is this one here. Uh, we've got moody mauve, which is this um, nice dark pink in here. We have petal pink, which is the lighter pink. We have pretty peacock, one of my favourite, this one here. And we have wild wheat, which is featured more in these leaves here and in these leaves on here. Okay, so true to form, I have all my card colours out beside me and all my scrap boxes of those colours with me. Okay, so I'm just going to crease this card from the back, just make sure that I've got that nice and firm. Okay. Now these are all of these kits in here. They do show you exactly how to build them. This sheet here, the back, this this loose one, that tells you what you need for each one. So for kit one, you have that, 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 the sequins, the banner, some twine, and some of the, the tape and the dimensionals. And the same with two and three. It tells you exactly what you need. Get rid of those because we've already done that piece. It then takes us to card number one, card two, and card three. So if I just fold those outwards to make it nice and neat and tidy. So it's telling me on here, card one, I've gone in a different order to what's on the front, haven't they? That's card two on here, but never mind. We can jump around. <laughs> so we'll put those ones to one side and we'll put those ones to one side. And we'll concentrate on this one at the moment, which they're calling card one. Okay, don't need the envelope. We just need these layers. Okay, and this one here, it's saying to put these layers across the middle of the card here, and it's going on with tape. So it shows you the three lines there. So I'm going to make it exactly as you get in the kit before I go on to do just a few ideas I've got in my head. I've not done them yet. I've just put them aside, and I think that I should be okay with those. So the tear and tape is exactly as it says on the name. You literally put your nail against it and tear it. Now I've got my snips here, and I'm just going to lift that up. It comes away really, really easily. Just flick that up. You can take your take your pick tool. You can take anything just to lift those up. If you've got long fingernails, then you can use those as well but they just rip off. I did have a little bit of the backing pull off on that one, so I'll just cut that little piece off. I've picked up some of the card from there. So i just get that off my finger if I can. And so this layer is ready to go down. Now, please note, this is making it up exactly as it says on the instructions. So when you see this layer go down, it's gonna go in the middle of our card, so top to bottom, get off there and to the sides, you want the sides even, top to bottom even, okay? So I'm gonna place that one down. Now please note that Sandra, oh, hi Emma, nice to see you on here. Hi, Sa another Sandra, um, nice to see you. Um, so this kit here, we're gonna place this one on here that way up, as per the diagram here. You see that just in the corner where my face is. So that's just gonna sit over the top there. Now you know that Sandra loves to gut her layers Look at that big piece here. I'm making this one up, remember, as per the kit. Okay, we can deviate afterwards. Okay, but this is the, how the kit works. This one is going to go onto pads and it's telling you to put one on each corner and one in the center. So I'm just going to grab those, my dimensionals here. Okay, so I'll put these on exactly as they've done. 
and then you can see how easy it is to assemble as per instructions. So put them on, take the backings off and then one in the middle. Okay, and that's like so. So we're going to put that down onto the card, exactly what it's saying in the next step. So hide that over the top and just place it in the centre. You've got a little bit of that lemon and lime twist poking out the top and bottom. And that's on there like so. Now we take the sentiment. Now this sentiment, like I said, well the other ones, are really gorgeously foiled in that it's, it's like a, a lighter metallic of the peacock, I think. It's a really nice shade and it's all shiny and foiled. So this is going to sit on here. Now they're telling us to put this on with um, the stamp and dimensionals here. Now if you have them, I personally would use, sorry, that was a Tombow on the floor. I would use my, to attach twine down on the back here, I would use my mini glue dots. So, but it's giving you the dimensionals in the kit, so they are there for you to use. But if I'm going to wind up some of the thread, then I would stick, I would stick, stick the thread with dimension, with the mini glue dots. So in this pack I have, this is simply elegant trim. This is the same as what you've got in the kit, but because I've got it open, I'm just gonna measure some of that off. So it's telling us in here in the instructions you want 14 inches. Now I want to point out on here, you do have instructions, you've got on the side of the instructions, you've got the measurements on here. So you can take your length, pull it off the roll and measure off 14. So because they've given you centimetres that way and inches this way, I'm going to go to seven and then I'll do another seven. Okay, there's my 14. It's beautiful blue foil, definitely beautiful foil. So that's the 14 and we're going to wobble this round. So it's up to you how you would like to put that on the back there. If I take that to one side, turn it over, then we can just put some dimension, some of these to say dimensionals look I'm going to put the glue dots on the end one either side okay and then I will make sure it's this end I'm not just going to wind this round like a figure of eight so if you're in any doubt as to how to do it then lay it down and follow exactly the pattern that they've done so they've got a loop coming down here they've got just like a figure of eight really up round there down round there it is a very long piece Okay, but I'm just going to press that onto that glue dot and they are the loops coming out top and bottom like so. Okay, now I'm going to find the dimensionals under my nose and I'm going to put these on. That's just to anchor it down. We don't want to have too many layers on here because if you've got the, the thickness of the twine and the glue dot, the dimensional, and you've got another layer, it's going to make that card quite thick. Okay, so I'm going to put that on there and then another one at this end okay didn't need to have that one there did i never mind we'll put that there and then turn that over and we're going to pop that on here okay so they are very big loops and i've got one there how is this working it had that one actually hidden behind the thing i'm going to have that going up like that i think there we go and i'm going to place this so i want one leg down and a loop down and then this is going to come along the bottom of the card here. It's the same length as the lemon and lime twist layer. And it is covering up that join where there's the white through the middle here. Sorry, shouldn't have lifted it up, should I? So on the same end there and there and get that anchored down. OK, so it's up to you how many of those dimensions you'd like to use. I'm just going to fish that tail out. I, I've only put two on here according to the diagram, but you know what? I think I'm going to fit a third one underneath. So if you've st ever stuck your layers down and you want to put another one, if you take the backing off first, so off there, and I've got one that is completely ready to go in there, I want to keep that little, little straggler out of the way. So I'm going to lift this up, pop that underneath and secure it down. And then that's sh still bounced up there. Look, he doesn't want to stay, does he? Where's he gone? Oh, does anybody else have any as much trouble as me getting these um, tape things? I'm going to find another glue dot. 
honestly they are simple it's just I haven't shown you how to straighten out that um, that cord I'm going to stick that little glue dot down under there so it holds it in place look there we go if you want to tailor them you can trim them down you can it's entirely up to you that's for the next one there we go and that's our card nearly finished we just got to put on the sequins on here however you like to lift those off it's telling you here you need two large ones and one small one okay so i'm just going to see where they've put them on there they've just got randomly in those corners so we'll pick one of those up lift it off with the glue dot and pop one just above there where they have and then another one large one oh that's taken the glue off i'm going to get my take your pick tool except it's the other side of the table okay i'm going to try and make sure you lift the glue with the dot you don't want to leave it behind um, a big one over there and then a small one okay make sure that i've got the glue oh, i don't know what that is a little piece of fluff there and one down the bottom there okay so that is our first card already made hi maureen yeah it's beautiful kit absolutely gorgeous so there's one and i'm going to pop that out of the way and there's our envelope that goes with it so we fold the flap over these aren't printed in the inside i don't know why i seem to think that they were they're not printed on the inside on this one many of the kits are but beautiful envelope okay but remember that because we're going to come back to that shortly then we're going to turn this over and we're going to go to the second one so card, card number three card number two i'm going to tip those backings out of my way bring those out off the card here so this is the this one here and again we've got the envelope ready and we have the petal part um yes petal pink so petal park um so we're gonna have this one and we're gonna put this panel is gonna be the white layer here and it's got tape three times on there so grab the tear and tape again these kits are fabulous if you're going away on holiday or you've got anywhere you, you can waste some time and you just want to pass the time, pop a kit in your handbag. It just whiles away a few few moments and it's just so, they're so easy on to do on the hoof, on the, on the move. Okay, so I'm using my scissors again just to lift those up. This layer is going to go down flat okay it's up to you which way up i think they are symmetrical no not quite look here we've got one to the left and two top and bottom so that's going to go that way a little bit of a border all the way round. okay and they're like so and then we have our sentiment this is a really quick one our sentiment with some if you can see the dimensionals here we're going to put some dimensionals on and we're going to fix some loops in here so if we turn it over ready I'm going to put the dimensionals on in the first instance. So we're going to put one of those in each corner. Okay, take that off. Down and off. Down and off. And down and off. Okay, like I said, how I did the, the um, twine just now, I'm going to use the glue dots, mini glue dots in the middle. You have got the pads in here. You can use the pads if you win wish but if you have the glue dots i would just press one down there and lift it off that's going to be my little anchor where this one is just to twist that um, cord around it's going to take some more cord this time it's saying 16 inches okay so get that out of the way i'm going to measure on my ruler here i want eight inches twice so i've got eight and eight again is there so that's my 16 snips i'm loving the glass mat ladies i really am it's really nice so i've measured that so i can put that back again so we're going to start with this one sticking out the top coming down there it's going to do a figure of eight so we're going to have that one down there round the dimensional and come back up the other side up here round the dimensional and then back down here again so you've got the little tail sticking out the bottom okay so however you like to anchor those down we've got that one just caught on the edge there i might get that the the single edges these ones were really hard to stick down so i might just catch that coming on there as well do that like so 
that might just anchor them all down so that when we turn it over it's going to be a lot easier okay so turn that over oh it's one of those days today i'm still got all the aftermaths of christmas and getting everything ready on my table i'm going to plonk that one in the middle there we go so we've got the little gold threads coming out there just let them dangle let them go wherever you want them to go and we on this one we're going to have two of the large and three of the small sequins so again look for where they've put them we've got a large one there i'm going to get my take your pick tool you know i think it's going to be better so lazy i really need to get the attachments out the other attachments because there's a little hook on there and i think that would be good if these the the pointy tool on the take your pick tool can get underneath sorry can get underneath there so i think it's easier for you to lift them off with so i'm going to put one here on the corner and then a little one beside it just up there and then down here we've got a large one there I'm making a really hash of this. I don't want to lose them. I'm flicking. But I tell you, the glass mat is beautiful, but if anything lands on it like that, a gem, it will shoot because it will slide on the glass. I'm going to put a large one there, get underneath that with my finger over the top so I can't ping it away, and a little one over there. And they say three. I don't know where the other one is. Oh, there's another one at the top there. Look, another tiny one at the top but it's artistic license you can put them wherever you like so put that one up there okay and there's our sim second simple card really done so so quickly okay so there's that one and our envelope as well so i'm going to put those out of the way behind me turn this over flip flip it over and then we're coming on to the last one now here's our envelope okay beautiful envelope so that's ready for the card and we haven't really got much to do on this one. Okay, just crease that one down there again. So this is a beautiful card on its own. And we've just got the sentiment here. Okay, now I am tempted to put another layer on these, but I'm going to wait and do the, the alternatives with you. I'm making this one exactly as it is on here. There's no gold... Oh, this there is. It's hard to see it on that diagram, but there is some fo um, um, foil thread on here 14 inches of foil thread so let's do this exercise again you may need this kit i think it's definitely a goer this one it's definitely one to have in your list now i'll just take a reminder on this one you might have heard me say before from january stampin up's going to be bringing out two kits a month okay so there's even more fun to look forward to um, and they are good handy standby to have even for us um, avid crafters that we all need cards in a hurry and I think it's just yeah it's just lovely and I will I do normally get most of the kits not all of them and coming to a month I might restrict myself a little bit um, but um, yeah let's looking forward to seeing what's coming out so I'm taking the dimensionals off the back of here and that one and that's all of those just tip them off the way and that one in the bin there we go so we're going to put some more twine on here so i tend to follow a diagram or just loop it around your fingers you can do like a figure of eight um so but it's if you're unsure where to start if you start sort of on here just on the edge of that dimensional up there round and come down I should have said to you if you grab your bone folder and you just pull that where it's been coiled up on a roll like this, it does bounce. But if you do what I've just done, you can see how that's just straightened it out, just running that along. And it's straightened it and it makes it a lot easier for you. So I'm gonna come over there with that one, a little bit sticking out the side. We're gonna go up and round over there, come down and back round here, just catching the edges because we want to be able to stick it on there. And then this one's coming round, over, leave a tail, and the string itself is going to come up through the middle there. Okay, so just catching on there, like so. Okay, keep them out of the way. So there's still some sticky showing, and I'm just going to pick that up with my tweezers. 
and just lay that on here. Okay, you can shuffle them about a little bit later. I'm just going to pop that in the gap. Straight down on there. Oops, not quite straight. If you're in doubt with the straightness of your um, adhering, just line it up on your grid paper or your mat of whatever description and just make sure that you're happy the words are going straight for you. So how many gems have we got on here? Two large and three small. So take your pick tool, bring it around here, a large one. If you just put your tool underneath it, you'll find that you might ping them across the room. So I would always urge just to say, put your finger over the top to support it and stop it blowing, um, pinging everywhere. Okay, so that's gonna come up in that top corner. One of the little ones here is coming up here in the middle of the yellows and another little one Oops. there is going to come down here with this one and another little one just to the side here and that's another card done really really quickly card and envelope Do you imagine if you're going to rattle through nine cards like that they'd be really really quick and easy to do now that's only taken me a really short amount of time there so i'm going to put these out of the way and I'm going to bring one of those kits back on. Okay, I'm going to walk you through what I left in the box. So we can take the instructions out of the way now because I've done one of each to show you how quickly they are. So I have got these pieces here. I've got one envelope, I'm not bringing both out. Some pieces, another piece and two cards here. So for this exercise, I'm just gonna leave those envelopes together there at the minute. Um, all of these cards, I'm gonna play with this one tonight. These cards are brilliant. You could literally cut these in half. You can cut them in quarters. You can cut them to pieces. So I'm gonna to use tonight, I'm just gonna show you one card and one envelope um, dismantled. Okay, put them back in the box. I'm going to be using, yeah, that just that card actually. Um, and I'm going to just leave this out. These ones here, one of this, this one, I could see. If you imagine my brain, how my brain works, I'm going to grab my note cards and envelopes. You know I love them. Absolutely love them. I'll just get three out. I don't know how many I'm going to do, but do three. Oh, come on. sticking together. Oh, clumsy thumbs. One, two. Why aren't they separating? One, two, three. There we go. And then we have the envelopes as well. One, two, and three. Now, this is always the most interesting piece, I think, using your own brain power and making other things with it. I'm going to score these, um, along, fold these along the score line in half. Okay, the ridge is on the inside, and I'm just going to square that one down there there's one ready to go I'm going to do all three and we'll see how we go this is just in my head as to what I want to do I have the cutting machine on the floor beside me I'm going to add a few extras that us crafters would have anyway um, okay so there's my three note cards so this one here if I was going to place that on a note card I would be inclined to say right think of how my brain works I would cut this down here okay where that layer is um i would measure that and i would say whatever the distance to that widest part is it's one and three eighths so i would cut that one and three eighths down there she says where is her little mini cutter i've been busy over the other side there today so if you imagine my my brain cells here i'm going to cut that to one and three eighths two three eighths so um, just there make sure it's nice and straight if i cut that off you have a panel here that you can use upright on its side um, you have another panel here that you can use so when you're thinking about doing cards you could actually have something on here you could have that along the bottom you could texturize the rest of it you could put another layer of the envelope behind it i've got a few ideas with that one so i'm going to tuck them in there for now but I'm going to be using the same with this. You could cut this um, however you like, half a piece there or half a piece there. 
just pop that to the side for the time being because this is the panel I'm going to use. So this is a white piece on the back here, but if you cut this card down along just under that fold, so I'm just let, resting that on my trimmer so that the fold is just on the outside, I would save this piece and use this to stamp some more greetings on. So it's a piece of white card, stamp some sentiments, and I think, looking at this design, I think that the layering leaves with the punch would go really well with this because of the shape of the leaves. But you could have any of your die sets, anything like that that you think might go, um, could look really, really pretty with it. Okay, so I'll put those to one side for a moment. Now, this length on here is um, five and a half cent uh, inches, sorry. So five and a half across. So five inches, whether it be two and a half and another half of that is a quarter so two and three quarters and I'm going to cut that in half so two and three quarters line there okay. I will cut that in half and there we have our two panels with some detail on there as to whichever way up we would like them to go so I think I would probably do them like that or like that it's entirely up to you which way you want to do them but they are cut in half so we could have two cards sat here we have one on there and one on there okay just going to turn that one over stay there okay so this is just for greetings now remember this panel here when you came to do when we came to do this card on here me and my thriftiness I would say I would cut off a half an inch piece off here and stick that down on the back of my panel with some dimensionals so two pieces on there and stick it behind I would only cut a half inch strip off and a half inch strip this in. So that takes one inch off our length here. So five inches, it takes it down to four inches. So we're now down to about there. We've got the whole of this panel left to play with. Okay, so if we wanted to, we could have a panel, some detail behind there, or we could use our own card stock that we already have. Okay, but that's just to give you another option on this card, how you could reuse the rest of that panel. Okay, so that's that one. And also our envelope here. So I'm going to make the third one here. I'm going to do something with this. Now, I like to cut the flap off the envelope. So this time I'm going to make it just on the inside of that flap. Okay, and I'll cut that flap off. Then I take one of my note cards and envelopes and I'm going to stick that straight on the note card. So we don't waste it. We use every single piece of that. So that's there. And then this one... I'm going to take off the side edges so you take off those crease lines the fold all the folds go down there along the bottom okay and then this one I'll turn it over take that fold off there okay take those out and put them in the bin as I said love the glass mat because everything slides along lovely so we're going to tinker this a little bit more this panel here could do with being cut off these thick ridges and that would work on a piece of backing behind something on your card as well so I like to get rid of these if you can see on there you can see where the ridges are I would cut those off so let's do that now it's going to cut that piece it's easier cutting from the other side so you can see it so the ridge is there cut that piece off and pop that in the bin only because it's thicker I want to line it up on a straight line somewhere here so I can see that that's definitely straight. Okay, I'm doing it along here instead of along the top there. Okay, so that can come off. Got a slight curve on it where it's curved for the envelope, but this panel can be used somehow as a backing or something like that. So that's another piece to be used. And then this piece, I'm going to take off that little ridge at the top. way now what I would like to do on our card I would like to have front to back this piece is on there what I'd like to have on my note card is to actually put a layer behind this and have this come here so I want to mark that at a, at a sensible place to cut I'm just seeing let there's a little raised edge on that one I'm so I'm going to turn that over so if I take some of my cardstock 
I could pick out any of these colours in here, but I am quite in love with the peacock. So I'm going to take the peacock. I've got a piece here. So I'm going to make a little layer to go on here. Okay, so I'm going to measure that. I know that the note cards are three and a half inches by five inches. Okay, so three and a half, I'd want to take that down to maybe, depends on what we're going to do with this piece here. Let's keep this in proportion and regardless of what it is on the front, I'm going to take that down so I've got an even border all the way round. I'm going to try and find a pencil. There we go. And I'm going to mark the same on this side. doesn't matter what the measurement is, is because I'm just going to eyeball that to be maybe a little bit narrower than that. Are you still with me? Am I confusing you? So I've got a little more border there, the same top and bottom. And I'm just going to come into about there. Okay. I'm going to measure that to see what that is. Make it to a sensible round number. Yeah, that's about three, just about three and one eight. I can always take a little bit off, but I can't put it back on. Okay, put that on there. So this piece here is just white paper, so I won't do probably do much with that piece. But here's our piece to go on the card. I think I want that just that little tiny piece off there again. So I'm taking that down to two and seven eighths on there. So make that straight. So if that's two and seven eighths, I'm going to do the same with my cardstock now, and I'm going to put a layer behind there. Okay, so like so. So we can put that in the middle of the card. Depends how big a border we want. I want just a little tiny border on this one. So again, I'm going to put a pencil mark, just eyeballing where I want it there, and eyeballing it when I want it there. So no measuring involved. I know some people often say to me about measurements, and they don't know what measurement to do. But if you just use your judgment, I'm putting that pencil mark on my trimmer line. Sorry, you can just see me here. Um, at the bottom there, so the pencil is on the line where it's being cut. Take that piece off, that's a strap. And I'm coming up to the one at the top here. And again, put that pencil mark on the cutting line. There. Just in case I've cut through the middle of the pencil, I'll turn that over now. And this should be my layer. Okay, so nice little even border to go around that. There we go, I'm happy with that. Now what I'd like to do on this one, I'm gonna quickly pick up my cutting emboss machine and I'm gonna texturize that. So I'll take the embossing. Oh. No, I want that out. So I'm just gonna bring this up. You can just about see me. And the embossing folder. So I'm gonna put, the, you can either put the whole thing in or just up the white piece and have it coming out like so. There, now there's a point. If I just did part of it, this exposed brick folder, if I just did part of it, it will cause a little bit of a ridge down here, but you could put a narrow little piece of something down there, or you can emboss the whole panel, okay? You can play about with your embossing folder and find the piece that you really want to find on the detail side. Move it around wherever you'd like to put it. Um, I like to keep them straight because bricks are tending to go straight on a wall, aren't they? So let's pop that in there and pop the plate over the top and I'll pop that through. And we'll go and take that out and we'll see where that goes. Now bear in mind this is just paper. It's from the envelope. But look at the results that you can get with it. I've lost the card now. Where did I put the card? One, two, here. Yeah. So that is my layer. If I can show you that and then the layer behind it and put that on there. Can you see? So this is from an envelope, okay? And how we've transformed that already by putting a piece of the envelope, the nice decorative bit down there, and we've popped it onto a, um, a um, note card. Now, I would gut this if I'd got anything suitable with me. I don't know if... I'll take these leaves out, actually because they might come in handy for something. So as long as I leave a nice little border all the way around the edges here, I can take some leaves, which might come in later. And I'm gonna do another one this way. So if you take a layer, get the punch between the two sides, you know you've got a little border all the way around there. 
okay and at the bottom here i'm just going to take another one that one's mush but i've got a whole one there so that's another one to use so i'm going to stick this one down onto my card first Take my tombow It's all gone very quiet. I hope I'm still live. Embossing is so elegant. Thanks, Shaz. You are still there. Um, it's gone a bit quiet on there. Um, yeah, I love, I love embossing. It's so quick and easy. It's just so nice. And then I'm just going to stick that down over the top. Okay. So that's going to be in the middle there. And all this was was a piece of envelope. But it's got the pretty pattern on it. It just makes it a little bit more exciting than just being a piece of envelope because we've added texture to it. My tweezers, pop that down there. Now the yellow in here is actually wild wheat. So I don't think I've run through the colors with you. Have, did I run through them at the beginning? I can't remember. Um, move that over. I was, I've had three rather late nights. I've had two o'clock three times in the last few days. Um, so yes, chatting quite late with one of the people who was on here, <laughs> weren't we? Yeah, but it was good. Sorting out um, for uh, the March convention um, over in Rotterdam. So that's my card ready to go. So then I think, right, we've got only got the right number of sentiments in the kit for the number of cards we've got, which is nine cards, nine sentiments. So I like the layering leaves. I've already said I think these will go nicely with the set. Um, with more time I would actually punch out some in each of the colours from my scraps and then mix and match and see what I come up with so um, I might just have a go with those and um, do something along those lines these extra pieces of card and uh, this is the envelope but this is the cardstock so I'm going to stamp on here and I'm going to stamp sentiment of some sort out of the um, layering leaves this seems to be my go-to for this set because I can just see so many of these designs in here so um which shall i go thank you so much or even just hello we want something that's going to fit on here i have my stylish shape dies here um because they're another favorite of mine let's clear that into the bin so i have lots of dies lots of pieces cut out but in the wrong colors so stylish shapes are a really good fallback for me They've got some banners, they've got some circles, they've got some squares. So really we're just going to find out which, which sentiment we'd like that would work nicely on here. Um, and then find a uh, something to go with it. I think not the banners for these ones. I think something a little bit circular on there might not be nice. So let's go for something like that and see whether we could get in that sending hugs. I think that would probably work. Um, could be a little bit too big. Let's just go down one and take the the best wishes. We would get that one in there. Okay. So, and then we could, or we could go with a square. But we've got the square shapes on here. So I think that the roundness would actually help nicely. Say that was the sentiment. We could actually have this one as the backing layer, as a second layer behind. Or we could just sponge around the outside edges of it. So I think I'm going to stamp that one. I've got um, Pretty Peacock ink pad out here. Here's my cardstock. I'm going to take the best wishes. <laughs> Which is best wishes. Can't read them back to the front. That's the dots. Thank you. This is the best wishes. I think the images might be smaller. A, a smaller on the front cover let's just see a little bit let's see how we go so i'm going to ink this one up tap on there and then stamp our sentiment it's nice nice stamping onto this um glass mat it is really good nice and clear so let's bring those back i think i'm going to need the bigger one aren't i yes we'll do the bigger one so that's one i'm going to do another one over here so i'm going to see if um sending hugs is another good one i like that one or just hello let's try hello i'll grab another block we'll stamp a hello on there and see what shape we'd like to do with that one 
There we go. It's a nice clean stamp as well. It's a good one. So we're going to do this one in a circle. Um, I might get. A, don't think this is going to fit on a banner. Let's just try it. Oh, that might. No, it's going to clip that off. I think it might be too close, but I'm going to try it. So what I'm going to do on here is just cut roughly round here. I don't want the scratching all the scratchy lines on the plate to cut onto the piece of card we're going to use. So I'm just going to rough cut round here. And then this one I will rough cut across there and across here. So those pieces can still be stamped on later. We need this one. We need the shim. We need the glass plate. So I'm going to attach these on here. Can you see me there? Just about. Um, I'm going to put use some tape on here and just attach that down so it doesn't move. Okay, we don't want to cut the piece on the right. I'm uh, just going to bring that about there. Okay, one that side and one this side. Now, I am having to treat myself to a new mat today. The other one has <laughs> I've been using, it has got itself too bent. It is silly now. So I'm treating myself to a new one. And you will need to get some more replacements in celebration. So celebration is coming up. It starts on the 4th of January. And the I mentioned that on Sunday that the fabulous signing offer, you can get this glass mat as a free gift on top of your brilliant kit. Take that punch out of the way. Okay. Um, together with every £45 you spend, you're going to get something out of the new brochure. So there's a nice little sentiment for the hello. Let's bring that one out a bit, a bit, come down a bit. I was a bit too close for you, wasn't I? There we go. So that's a nice little sentiment. That can go on one of the cards. Um, put that one away so it doesn't get lost. And then the yellow one, the yellow round one. What am I yellow out of round? So that one, I could get that nicely in the center there. Bring that over a little bit. That one down and that one down. So something like this I'd probably play with for a, a, a nice afternoon um, and I'm going away for a weekend in January um, and I'll be hopefully be teaching a class down there as well but I'll be having a lot of time it's a busman's holiday really so I will be able to have a long weekend just playing and creating for me so um, I'll be playing with all sorts so whatever kits are out at the time I will be making up a load of alternatives in there as well so um, this one here we've used the white envelope the whisper white basic white on here they are a little bit um, of a creamier white not a bright white like the kits are um, it doesn't really matter but just to point out that there is a difference there um, so with this one I think I'm going to grab a piece of sponge got a piece here and grab the ink pad. I think it's small enough, I just want to have a little bit of detail around the edge there. Okay, so I'm just gonna um, just spread this downwards. I'll do it above the ink pad, just in case there's any um, wispy bits come off. And I'm just going di um, 90 degree angle to it, just fluffing that out. Hardly any ink on there at all. And make sure you go all the way around so that they meet up. And there you've got a bit of detail to the edge. You can see that one there. Okay, so I'll leave that on the ink pad. And that will just define the edges for us on there. Now we've got some of the tape left over, the, the twine left over. So we could actually stick that along here somewhere like so. I like to have things off the edges so they don't sit square. But it's up to you where you want to put that. You could have it that way up as well, actually. But if you said we've done the bricks across, so I think just pop that on there. Um, I'm going to put some dimensionals on here and I'm then going to put some of the twine around as well, I think. So one of those, two and three. Tip them off. Yeah. Uh, 
so a little piece of the twine that we had here so you have you can get extra twine as well um, through the, the kits so I'm gonna just eyeball this just guess at things so I want a bit of a loop there a bit of a loop there down here and round and back up and out that corner okay like so just attach on there so it's a little bit skinnier either side of that and cut that edge off so you don't need to necessarily measure them okay that's going to come in fact I do want that bit more diagonally all depends on where you put your dimensionals doesn't it so that's that's a bit better where's my tweezers didn't drop them on the floor here so it just helps to get my big hands out of the way oh pull that off just through the middle there so I'm gonna have that coming like so keeping it nice and straight I have cut those coming off the edge of the card now not too worried I'm gonna secure that one down under there take off that tail I haven't quite caught that in the actual um, doodah so I'm going to grab those glue dots I think it's floating in between the two dimensionals so I'm going to take one of those and my glue dots and I'm just going to stick that underneath lift up the corner and anchor that down there we go and then you've got a little bit more control with it there we go but other than that, I like that. And then some more dimensionals. So use some of these up. These are for the kit, but as I've got them free at the moment, I'm just going to pick that up and pop on there. And a little one beside it as well. So that can come down there. So how does that look? Just as one of your additional ones, okay? So that's just from one of the envelopes and another note card, okay? So then these two... Um, I could do pretty much the same. I've got two cards here that depends on which way you'd like to, to view them. I've got that one there and that one that way up. Or that one that way up. And the line at the bottom. Um, I'm not sure which way I like these. I might do that one that way. Um, but you don't have to stick to the peacock. The peacock is a nice strong colour as we've proved here on that one. So I think I'm just going to cut two layers of peacock for now. Um, I've got a piece that I can cut or I might go to I like to use the pieces up so I'm going to go in here for the wild wheat for one of them so I'm going to have that one under here but you see that turns it a little bit more muddy so I do think I want to switch to the, the peacock so this is what I do when I get the new kits out I just bring out one of each colour and I work out what I'd like to do on there. So I'm just grabbing my my big trimmer. It's probably on the seat opposite. So what I'm going to have to do is just, just going to be a bit brutal. And I'm going to have to roughly cut this across here. Smudge is saying hello, guys. Just to save me getting up again, because the time's cracking on, I can see. And then my little trimmer that was under my fingers just now so I'm going to remember that my bottom layer here is not cut to size yet it's not got a straight edge and I'm going to line this up and I'm going to cut that eyeball that where I want it cut I'm going to go there I think daddy's in bed and she's after some attention just move that along there and then cut that off eyeballing so you've got nice straight edges all the way around we'll do two of them at the same time so we'll do the same with this it's this bottom edge that's not straight so put one in there okay pop it in your trimmer little tiny border recheck your linings and another piece there it's just saving to putting the pencil dots on if you've got can hold it firmly you can do that as well there we go so this is all from one card and one envelope and I'm going to stick these layers together. OK, 
okay there's lots of us demo demonstrators do like to do alternatives so i've kept you a bit longer tonight um just showing you a couple of different variations and one's using an envelope so i'm a great believer in using all the resources we've got as you know hi so much she will get yeah she'll have a treat from you at the end when i finish i'm gonna be going back next door i've got to do a graphic for the global group that i'm in so this i'm literally just going to whisk that over and pop this on flat the other one will do raised if i remember so just a little bit of tombow oops that just landed in my ink pad that was not a wise move was it so this is just going to line in the middle little border all the way around the edge that one over a little bit bless her she's insistent isn't she she had treats earlier so there's that one and then this one i'll put on pads just so we've got a little bit of difference going on that slid didn't it it's not stuck down yet she's a hungry little monster i think she can hear voices you see so that's going to go down on my card I'm going to hold it this way so I can hold my card shut. I can always correct it later. Just to get it in the centre. Without the card bouncing open. Then this one's going to come flat onto there. Okay, I like it that way. <laughs> so I've just got to try not to get the ink on my... Can you see that? Look at that ink on there. Try not to get that on my fingers. There we go. So what we've made here with three note cards, we've made three more cards out of one card and envelope. So where we say that the kit will do nine cards, you've actually got um, an extra three here by adding in some note cards. Okay, we just want the sentiments on here, but you can see where I've gone with those. I made the hello one earlier, didn't I? This is quite a nice big sentiment, a big... Um, um, graphic on here so I think I'm just going to pop that over to the side I do like the ends hanging over the end there sometimes so I'm going to put that on foam pads that was a nice quick one once we got there so one on there and one on there we've not forgotten you smudge so I might just do it coming off the ends like so there we go so there's two cards done and I've got an envelope there Okay, now I had the third one. I had the blue somewhere I was going to put on the envelope, didn't I? I've lost that piece. I don't know where that's gone now. Here. So on one of these envelopes now, I'm going to just show you how I line this piece up. This was off the larger envelope, and I'm just going to line it up on here. So all I'm going to do is cover this with Tombow. Okay, scribble that on there. Open it up. And I'm going to lay this flat, because it's a nice straight edge, I'm going to lay this flap on here, up to the edge of the fold, and up to that edge there. So whilst we've used part of it there, we've, um, we've used the... Oh, look. I have got it on my fingers, sorry guys. Because that was on the glue, it's on my thumb, look here. That'll have to stay at the moment, I'm afraid. So sorry about that. I'm just rushing this through now just to finish these off for you. So we've got that coming around. So I'm just fussy cutting this around the edge of the envelope with the fingerprint stains on it. Okay, just follow the line of your envelope. Okay, and then you've got a, a decorative flap on one of them. I would always decorate the other edges of the envelopes on these other two. I would make sure that I just cut some strips of coordinating card just to come down the edge there that makes a really nice border so that's that one and we could stamp some of the um the leaf em em embellishments here just stamp those on the front corner of the envelope so that's another one we just need one more greeting on here and for quickness i think i'm going to do another hello just because it's out of handy so i'm gonna just stamp on there stamp that sentiment Okay, and we'll quickly whisk that one through and then we're done, I think. So that one onto there, bring the machine back. So what do you think of those extra um, additions just from one card and envelope? Okay, I hope you find those useful. 
try and push that through. Put this on here. Make sure that it's nice and straight. Take a piece of the tape over there. The second one has actually got a bulge in it as well already, so it's a uh, whisk that through. And of course, if you don't have enough of the embellishments in here, because we've got the other cards in there to use them up on, you can always take some of your clear um, rhinestone gems and colour them with um, the alcohol markers. So I'm just going to pop these on here. Two of those. So this, you imagine how many you could get to with um, doing several of these. I'm just going to um, bring the ink pad back on. Just go down the edge of this one because it's got more white on it on the base card. It's just going to bring that in white to white. There we go, pop that to one side, grab my tweezers. Just gone around a little bit of the edge just so you can see and then that'll make it stand out a little bit. Through the centre like that and we've got an envelope with that one all decorated as well. Okay, so just leave those to one side. That's that one, there's that one and then there's this one here. Okay, so I hope you like those. Three alternatives. You can see all of that, can't you? Bring that in closer. <laughs> Smudge isn't approving. There we go. So they're the alternative ones made from this one here. Okay, so instead of doing one big panel, we cut it in half that way. We've put some extra um, sentiments on and then from the envelope, we've used this panel here, cut it to here and we've embossed it. Okay, so lots going on. No, Princess is not happy. Fabulous group of cards, lovely. Thanks, Shaz. Um, just a little bit longer tonight, but I think that you've got the basis of a very simple kit that's really lovely to do, um, but how you can actually make it so much more just by tweaking, and it didn't take much extra supplies at all. And as crafters, we always have lots of extras, don't we? So I'm going to take that off, just bring it back to me. There we go. So thanks for joining me um, and I hope you like those and I hope you'll be brave enough to try some alternatives yourselves if that's what you like and certainly get that kit on your shopping list if you haven't already, okay? So I'm loving it and can't wait to January till there's going to be two a month coming out, okay? So take care and stay safe and I will see you on Sunday.